What is happening, everybody? Curly B here. Welcome to part 11 of our second attempt at our Pokemon Secret Gold Hardcore Nuzlocke. In our last episode, we managed to become champions. We, uh, me and our, we, we and our team uh, became Pokemon champions of the uh, Indigo uh, Plateau of the Kanto and uh, Judo regions. But that's not all we have to do. We have to get our six, eight more gym badges. And we have to ultimately defeat Red up in Mount Silver. So uh, we're going to start that process now. So for you encounters, first of all, we're in Vermilion City. And we're going to get a, a fishing encounter here. Not really a whole lot. In terms of encounters going forward, now I have a lot of the team that I want. Uh, so got, uh, most encounters are just going to be, you know, by the numbers, really. Um, if there's anything possible, like, if, for example, in one of the routes here, I, I'm going to definitely get a Poliwag. Because I want Poliwrath back. But apart from that there, I'm just going to get what I can, really. So, this is, most, this is probably going to be Tentacruel. Nope. Got away. Which I don't mind. It could be Lantern, which would be handy. Uh, Tentacruel. Oh yeah, there's music for the thing. Clear body, it's not bad, actually. I'm going to throw a quick ball at this thing. Uh, I do have a choice band on this, so I want to just be careful. Nice flinch. <laughs> uh, just chuck a Ultra Ball at the end. Nice, Tentacruel was caught. Ugh, nicknames, this is the worst part of this thing. Jellyfish. I'm going to be lazy, I'm honestly going to be very lazy with the nicknames. I just want to get through this part to... I'm going to call you Jello. Jello the Tentacruel. Welcome to the team, buddy. Okay, so Route 6. So we're going to get our Poliwag here. There's a chance of Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Magikarp. No, I don't want to surf. Yay! Did they get a water stone to evolve you again though? And Dream Punch again? Not sure. We can do all that. Oh no, quick ball. Um, I can't even what I called you before. Honestly, I don't even know what I called you before. I'll call you something different now. Uh, you're female. I genuinely don't know what to call you. Um, cordial. Cordial is another name for diluted juice. Cordial, the poly why what was the team, buddy? Alright, so we're in Diglett Cave, so we're going to get an encounter here now. Um, I want a Hippopotamus, because uh, I already have Diglett and Dogtrio. That's troops. Okay. No. There we go. The sound stream as well. Okay, another weather setter. Happy days. The claw or quick ball here. Nice. You can be useful against Lieutenant Surge. What we'll call you though. Hippo. I know this is mad, but um, again, I'm just flying through with these. I'll call you Dirty Water. That's your hippo.
Dirty War the Hippopotamus. Uh, welcome to the team, buddy. Alright, so Route 2 before Peter City. I'm going to get an encounter here in this grass. A lot of bug types. And there's a Star Review as well. So we'll see what we'll get. Route 2 encounter is... Beautifly. Okay. I'll take that. You can be very useful in the um, grass gym. You if I was caught with a quick ball, happy days. Um, it could be replaced for what did I call? Did I call butterfree bottom up before? Can't do it again, no to the fit. Or all two. Uh, what I'll call you because you apparently suck the liquids from things, I'm gonna just call you liquid. Liquid is technically a drink. Liquid the beautify, welcome to the team, buddy. Alrighty, so we made it to the Pewter City Gym, and it's hopefully time to get our um, ninth badge overall and our first badge in Kanto. Uh, it's a level cap of 61, which unfortunately I wanted to use tequila in this fight, but I have accidentally used a rare candy on it. When was that level 61? Forgetting that it was, thought it was level 60, and so it's disqualified now. So here's the team we're going to use to get through uh, Brock. We've got Executor, the uh, uh, white, white Lady, sorry, the Executor, a Hole in the Choice, Scarf, Giga Drain, Sleep Potter, Leech Seed, and Solar Beam. We've got River Rock, our Starmie, a Hole in the Choice Specs, with Aura Sphere, Surf, Ice Beam, and Recover. Let's change it, actually. we got Curves, our uh, Kingler, a Hole in the Choice Band, with Protect, Super Power, Waterfall, and Crush Claw. We got Cordial, our brand new uh, Polyrath, uh, Adam Nature this, this time, which is fantastic. Holding the Shell Bell, which has Damp, which in this gym with a lot of Explorers is very handy. Waterfall, Dream Punch, Hydro Pump, Mud Bomb. WKD Blue, our uh, King Kingdra, holding the King's Rock, Dragon Breath, Hydro Pump, Dragon Pulse, and Surf. And finally, 7 up our Creo Dilly, holding the Quick Claw with Energy Ball, Grass Knot, Acid, and Confuse Ray. So I'm going to actually switch those two items around. Because if we can recover, it might be handy. Hold on. So we'll give you the choice specs. I'll give River Rock the King's Rock. Rock for Rock. Actually, give you metronome. Give it the spam surf. So here we go. So first up is uh, a lot of frogs, but one are double weak to grass. So why we're leading off with uh, White Lady and Toy Scarf is going to start giga things to death. Very nice. So you might just giga drain, giga drain, giga drain all day long. I think there's only one. I think the Onyx has a focus sash. I believe. The Golem had a Scepter Spider, doesn't matter. Now, I know other Pokemon have items. Now, here's where it may be a bit troublesome. I'm going to go into Cordial here in case it wants to explode. That's fine. 
I will just waterfall. They're faster than me. There's a focus sash. Uh, I'm just going to go back into White Lady here. Because the focus sash is now gone. I'm also going to use a full restore, and that's fine. We're going to just go Giga Drain um, to kill it then. So the focus sash is burned. Right, straightforward enough so far. There's Relenkenth, Water uh, Rock. You need to die to Giga Drain as well. Nice. Don't think I crept Mata, but we'll take it anyway. To the widow. Uh, I'll stay in. Nice. And then Kaboot hops is out last, and it shouldn't be able to one hit KO, so we can one hit KO back. We should be fast with the choice car still, though. Yeah. Yep, it's like a sweep. Very good. That's our first Judo badge and nine badges overall. Next up is Cerulean City, Misty. We we'll get the badge there. Level cap is 62, I believe, so we can use White Lady and we can use Tequila this time. But there we go. Nine badges down. Okay, so on, on Route 3, making our way to Cerulean City. We're going to get our Route 3 encounter here. So here we go. And Route 3 encounter is... I uh, already had you, didn't we? Call you a dupes. Hello, dupes. You probably wouldn't be too bad. There's nothing, there's not really any, nothing I really need it for right now. Come on, give me something half decent like. Oh, here we go. Intimidate? Nope, no intimidate. Uh, so a quick ball. Nice. Oh, fine. I'll have to check. I don't think you change. You change in the game. You evolve. Sure, we'll check anyway. Straight away, go home. Strap door. You'll be useful in a few gems, I think. Grass and fighting. There's no fighting gym, it's a dojo. Uh, okay, we'll call you. I know there's a, a drink called this. I believe there is a wild turkey. I think it's a oh, there, whiskey. There's definitely a drink called Wild Turkey. I think it is whiskey. Wild Turkey, the Staravia. Welcome to the team, buddy. Alrighty, so we're going to make our way through Mount Moon to get to Shurian City. Now, unfortunately, um, and I didn't realise at the time, the Mount Moon has a rival fight here, but the level cap is 60. 
and a few of my Pokemon were at either 61 or 62, so I've had to create a basically a new team here. Uh, I'm not using the excuse that, uh, yeah, that was I could have in theory gone and done this fight first. I probably should have, but uh, that's, neither here nor that. that's neither here nor there now. So, here's the team we're going to bring with us to hopefully uh, get through uh, our rival fight here. So, we're leading on with Martini, our Graveler, with a modest <laughs> shit nature, holding the Quick Claw. The reason why we haven't got a Golem yet. Is because in this game, in this hack, uh, there's a certain uh, item you only get through trades, in-game trades, that allows you then to uh, use on the Pokemon. We haven't got any in-game in -game trade yet, but I'm happy to keep Graveler as it is. Uh, home the Quick Law, Earthquake, Hammer Arm, Rock Blast, and Explosion. Let's do a quick shift around here. Here. Uh, we've got uh, RC Cola, our camera up to home the choice specs with Lava Plume, Lava Plume Earth Power, Strength, and Eruption. Bud Light, our Giraffe Rig, holding the choice scarf with Psychic, Shadow Ball, Baton Pass, and Double Hit. Must get you a decent um, third move. Uh, Jerry, our Sharpedo, holding the Focus Sash, uh, just in case we get one hit KO. Um, the plan is for Jerry to switch him into the Alexam on a Psychic or a Shadow Ball, uh, but just in case that you decide to use Focus Blast or Energy Ball, we've got the Focus Sash there. Aqua Jet, Protect, Waterfall, and Crunch. Dirty Water, our brand new um, Hippodyne, uh, holding the Choice Ban, Sand Tomb, Crunch, Earthquake, and Double Edge. And finally, Crab Juice, our Slowbro, uh, holding the Shell Bell with Water Pulse, Zen Headbutt, Psychic, and Slack Off. Let me just switch that around as well. There we go. So, I believe the rifle. Whoa! <laughs> That's some glitch. I believe the rival fight starts as soon as we walk in here. There's a clay fairy. Hello, clay fairy. Ass hat. So this, I believe this is our final rival fight. Well, mandatory rival fight anyway. So ass hat's going to lead off with his haunts crow, which is why we're leading off with um, graveler. Uh, it has drill peck and thunder wave, a double team, and I think coming to the move. Nasty plot, is it? No, double team soccer punch. So, really, if we get a good roll here on Rock Blast, we should be fine. Oh, quick claw, even better. Can we get four? I think we need four. Oh, three might do it. No, I think we'll need four. And. Don't start fucking around with this caper. I'm just going to use hammer arm here. Ah yes, another quick claw proc. Very nice. A nice crit and we did not not need it at all. How can we get these critical hits on the la that can have a sliver of health? Cannot get a critical hit whenever the thing. I know we got one against that guard get Lance's Gyarados. Sure. Right, okay, so. I would imagine energy balls happening here. Screw it. It's got a focus sash anyway, so screw it. Use psychic, please, just for the fun of it. Ah! There you go, use psychic. Excellent. I need to keep our focus sash intact now. So, usual strategy protect to get a speed boost. Let's make us faster and then we crunch this thing to death. Alexam has paper thin defense, so even though we haven't got a muscle band, this should be a one hit KO. Perfect. If you bring in Gengar, that'll be great. Or even Magmortar, that'd be great. That's fine. So, plan for Electifier. Switch straight into Hippodown. I, I should have given you a Rostberry. Oh no, sorry. What do you call the, the one that... Uh, yeah. No, the one that uh, stops freezing. Rostberry, is it? No, the Rostberry stops burn. Uh, this shouldn't kill us at all. Or, just don't freeze us, please. We're too bulky. 
Don't freeze. Thank you. And this is Choice Bandit Earthquake. Should take it out. I imagine in next will be for alligator. Now we're going to do a little bit of um, stalling here. Yeah, we're going to switch in the slow bro on the aqua tail. Slack off to get our health back and just stall this thing out with a sandstorm. Perfect. Does very little. And we're going to slack off. So that's uh, so the party will use Earthquake, which is next strongest move. Yeah. We're going to get back to hopefully full health here. That is, we get crit. That's full health. Speed this up slightly. Uh, we're going to do Psychic. I'm just going to slack off again. And psychic. I'm going to slack off one more time here. And once more. Why don't you use Aqua Tail there, I wonder? I feel like it ran out of earthquakes. So imagine it's Gengar in next, hopefully. There we go, we're going to switch straight into Bud Light on the Shadow Ball. And Psychic for Choice Scarf, so we should be faster. Yep, that confirms it. And Psychic should take it out. Perfect. Going back more to the left, um, I'm going to switch into RC Cola here, probably wants to flamethrower. Yeah, we should resist that. We do resist that. Uh, we don't get damage because we're ground type. And Earth Power. That shouldn't kill us. <sighs> Ooh. A credit head would have done us in there. There we go. Rival down. Last rival fight, and we win. Happy days. On to Australian City. Okay, so on route four, uh, I went by my Mount Moon counter because I want to get um, a Weeper, um, and I don't have a Pokemon Surf with me right now, so I'll get that um, after uh, I deal with the Australian Gym. But I want to get right route, route four encounters now. Our route four encounter is a dupe. Just let me run away. You put someone fast out front just to be safe. And our route four encounter again is Ooh Jigglypuff, eh? Might be useful. Uh let's use a quick ball. Very good Jigglypuff, I'll take a Jigglypuff. I don't know if really Tough has any added um, typings or has any improvements in it. We'll have a look at it anyway. Balloon Pokemon. What we'll call you? Round pink thingy. Uh, I'm generally no idea what to call you. Female again. Uh, I 
think this is how it's spelled, Tankery Gin. Tankery. The first one happened in the we'll go with that there. Tankery the Jigglypuff, welcome to the team, buddy. Alright, so we're going to get our Route 24 encounter here. I think Route 24, Route 25, and then the Shrillian City Gem. So, uh, there's a few grass types in here which might be handy, but we'll have a look. Survey says... Weeping Bell. Did I not have you? I have a bell sprout. No, I, was a, I think I was a previous. Um, I think it was the first attempt I had the bell sprout, didn't I? Uh, yeah. Let's just go with that. Well caught, you might be useful in the if you have chlorophyll, you might be very useful in this next gym. Uh we'll call you There's a Vodka called bison grass. Since you're a grass type, let's go with that. Bison grass and wheat and bell. Oh the team body. Okay, so we're on Route 25 now, let's get our encounter for here. Yeah, someone's poisoned. <laughs> Forgot about that. Encounter is... Hmm. Funnery. Another normal type. I don't think you change your type in this game either. No, we, don't, we, know we definitely don't. Yeah. I doubt we use you, but sure, we'll take you anyway. Funnery. I would Pokemon. Um, do, 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 do. What will call you? Lopunny, Rabbit Bunny, Meal. Since you're meal, I can't think of anything else right now. I'll call you Jim Bean. It's Bean, isn't it? Not Bean Bean. No. Jim Beam the whiskey. Jim Beam the Lopunny, welcome to the team, buddy. Okay, so done all the nonsense with that um, foreign Team Rocket member, who's my favourite character in this game. Uh, I love him so much, he's even better than the original. Um, we've got the machine part there, but it's given us now access to Misty. Uh, take her on. But first of all, before we do, we're going to uh, get an encounter here in... Cerulean uh, City Gym. So there's a slight chance of a Masquerine, or a very rare chance of a Masquerine. Um, but I'm looking, probably going to get a Hop Up or Skip Bloom here. I think I may have a, a Repel Up. Oh shit. I don't even know who I have out here. Um, let's just skip this. Yeah, so it turns out it's not Cerulean Gym. It's uh, this part of, of Cerulean City here where I can surf. Um, by the way, the battle was nothing and I got through it fine. Uh, so I'm just going to go through this now. This is our Cerulean City encounter. I think I do have a, a repel up. Stay there. I think I have a repel up. Go. Ah, a golding. I'll take you. I won't use you at all, but I'll take you. Quick balls are fun. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, yep, dead on. What'll I call you? We'll call you Kenko after the coffee. I'm pretty sure that's right. Can't go with the eagle team, but I'll go to the team, buddy. Okay, so we've finally made it to Cerulean Gym and ready to take on Misty to hopefully get our 10th badge overall and our second badge in Kanto. Uh, so let's have a look at the team we're going to use to take care of this. We have a strategy. We're going to use an Executor for a clean sweep. 
So we got White Lady, our Choice Specs Hone Executor, um, with Solar Beam, our main move, Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, and Giga Drain. Everyone else apart from Nine Tails is uh, just we hopefully we don't have to use. We got Lemon Fanta holding the Quick Claw with Discharge, Single Beam, Focus Blast, and Thunder Wave. We're bringing Bloody Mary, our Focus Slash Holy Nine Tails. Why are we bringing a Fire Type to Water Type Gym? You will see soon enough. Uh, Flamethrower, Will O Wisp, Solar Beam, and Confuse Ray. Cordial, our Choice Band Holy Pyrath with Waterfall, Drain Punch, Hydro Pump, and Mud Bomb. Amber Extra, our Magnazone, holding the Choice Scarf, Discharge, Mirror Shot, Magnet Rise, and Zap Cannon. And finally, Tequila, our Ludicolo, holding the newly acquired Big Root, with Teeter Dance, Giga Drain, Rain, Rain Dance, and Surf. So between Hippo Down, Rain Dance, having uh, Tequila, and Bloody Mary, we, ha uh, um, we have all the weather. Uh, he'll, we can probably get with uh, our Glalie, but we don't need, that right, no, don't need that right now. But here we go. So, the plan is, Misty leads off with Polly, Polly Toad, which has Drizzle. So we're going to leave, we're, we're going to have White Lady here. Now, what the plan is now, White Lady, Polly Toad should see an Ice Beam on uh, Executor here. So we're going to switch in Bloody Mary onto the Ice Beam and get our sun up. Perfect. And now we're going to switch back into Executor on the Hydro Pump. And this should be then the Solar Beam, Solar Beam, Solar Beam, Solar Beam from there. That shouldn't do much. And now it's a Solar Beam Fest. The Choice Specs. They should be one hit KO on everything in this gym. And because we have Chlorophyll, that means our speed is doubled, so we should be outspeeding everything. So this should just be solar beam one hit KOs all day. There's nothing that should be surviving this. If Lapras can't survive it, nothing else is surviving it. Choice Specs, Chlorophyll, Executor is OP. <laughs> Murders everything. And the worst thing is that the uh, Gold Duck doesn't even have Cloud 9. <laughs> Does it get out, take, out, take away the, the, uh, the sun? That's a goddamn massacre, ladies and gentlemen. Vaporeon, no, I would still think you go down. You'll go down as well. You with your high HP. If Blappers wasn't surviving, you're definitely not surviving. Nope. And finally, it's Stormy, which again should just die. <laughs> I love these strategies. <laughs> That's too easy. <laughs> Once you've got this many Pokemon, you have these many strategies, you can use it. It's just far too easy. Well, there's our second Kanto Gem Badge and our tenth Gem Badge overall. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to try and get two, at least two uh, Gem Trainers in per uh, video now, because again, in, at this stage, again, that is basically just a boss rush with these Gym Leaders. Um, and Vermilion City is, is pretty much uh, straight away after this next. But uh, that's fantastic. So um, that's part 11 done and dusted. Um, two badges down, six to go, and then hopefully get, um, get all that done. And we'll be able to finally end this on our second attempt and beat Red at Mount Silver. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you in part 12. Take it easy, all the best, and good luck. See you later. Bye.